If you own a convertible, you will almost certainly have been in this situation. You get out the door, the sun is shining, so you get the roof down. But midway through your journey, the heavens open. Now of course, if you drive fast enough, you'll stay dry and keep your hairdo intact. But why does driving faster in a convertible keep you dry? Let's start with the aerodynamics of a convertible car. There are two main types of airflow, laminar and turbulent. Laminar is slow, low pressure air, and turbulent is fast, high pressure air. Also, when a fluid, like air, passes over a car, there's a thin layer of that fluid that sits just above the bodywork and interacts with the surface, known as the boundary layer. While a car is moving, air flows smoothly up the bonnet and is then diverted up the windscreen, following the body lines of the car. Once the air reaches the edge of the windscreen, the flow becomes detached, seeing as there's no car left to hang on to. The end of the windscreen acts as a separation point then, with the flow transitioning into a swirly and turbulent state, increasing the size of the boundary layer. You then get high speed air that continues flowing over the rest of the car, and a low speed flow which actually starts to work in the opposite direction, hence why sometimes your hair blows towards the windscreen. The faster you drive, the faster the air flows over the car and the boundary layer increases in size. When it rains, the boundary layer acts as an airflow anorak, channeling the water over the car and away from your face, if you drive fast enough. So what speed you need to reach to stay dry? Well, it mostly depends on the angle or rake of your windscreen. Something like a Mazda MX-5 has quite a steep windscreen, which accelerates the airflow and increases the size of the boundary layer, culminating in a more dramatic separation point to turbulent flow. That means at fairly medium speeds, the boundary layer is large enough to act as a dry, lovely cushion of air. Simulations have shown that with a windscreen this steep, you can drive 45 miles an hour or above to stay dry. Something with a more shallow windscreen, like a Ferrari Portofino, will need to drive faster to achieve the same effect, which is where wind deflectors come in. Their job is to keep the airflow as laminar as possible and attached to the car, keeping the turbulent airflow from entering the cabin too much. In a normal convertible then, stick above 45 miles an hour and you'll be as dry as a bone. I wouldn't say an MX-5 is the perfect wet weather car, but now that you know the science behind all of this, be my guest. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and tell me in the comments what you'd like me to explain next.